I heard that there was a new Death Stranding trailer. That's the only thing I really know about. Mm -hmm. I hate that fucking sound. Oh. Is this Death Stranding too? Mark of the Beast. Ooh. He got fucked by an octopus. Oh, this is sick. Welcome what to the Drawbridge, fuck? Sam, and to the GHV Magellan. Oh my Another God! Base of operations. Come on, I'll help you get your bearings. This is the ship's armory. Here you can check your weapons and put them through their paces. Mm -hmm. These rooms over here belong to other members of the crew. They're pretty much the same as yours. And the shower's down at the end. This is one hell of a ship you got here. Courtesy of the UCA, I'm guessing. No. As I told you, Drawbridge is a civilian outfit. But we do have a generous patron with access to plenty of capital and tech. Sounds like a UCA big shot. Don't ask me. We've never met face this to face. This is nine minutes? They value their privacy. Oh boy. Seriously? No better than to believe that bullshit. It's the same deal as America. The people here are all spread out. Cut off from one another. We want you to help us bring the world together. <clears throat> Sam, would you mind if I join you? Humor him. Hmm. His knowledge and experience will probably come in handy down the road. Yes. This guy has the same frame rate as a Nintendo Switch. Really, Sam? Your buttocks? What about shotgun? So good. I prefer the driver's seat. Stop motion? Sam, yeah. Do you read me? You'll first need to access the Mexico side plate gate terminal. Okay. After we've confirmed network coverage, we can take the DHV Magellan and regroup at your position. On the board. Oh the shit! Is not everybody wants to be part of the UCA. That's not the plan, Sam. They're gonna the build the wall? Looking to expand its borders. Just like with Mexico, they want to bring new regions into the network. Okay. Anyway, the DHV Magellan's here to back you up. As always, you'll be the one leading the way to expand the network. What's your role in all this? You're the commander, huh? That's right. These days I'm fragile in name only. You brought America together. Helped it be reborn as the UCA. But I'm afraid the death stranding is far from over. That looks cool. Humanity is still wow. in danger. Still on the brink of extinction. Don't act like you don't see it. A lot of things changed after you went off on your own. Especially within the UCA. Bridge is no longer oversees the distribution network. They withdrew once things were up and running. Wait, what? It's the distribution network. They withdrew once Oh, I thought he threw the cat in running. there. So your friends and co-workers all went their separate ways. Within network coverage, there's no need to rely on human porters anymore. Lost his hand? Yeah, so I guess so. after I closed up shop, I went and started a new group. One that handles work in regions outside the UCA. 
We decided to call ourselves Drawbridge. With the support of the Chiral Network and APAS, humanity will be free from the need to move around. Mm -hmm. Bots are capable of handling deliveries. He's alive. He called himself a ghost, but... He found a way back from the beach just so he could kill us. He said he came back to get revenge on you and me. Hey, brother. Did you miss me? Yeah, I figured you'd pay this place a visit. Seeing as how I've been distributing the fruits of this fine factory. It's the Joker, the yeah. The guns and violence, the whole damn world could be yours. Same as it ever was. Oh. Looks like you decided to trade in that rope for a stick this go around. Well, I suppose even a porter has to pull the trigger from time to time. Oh, what about you? Hey, buddy, are you just another soulless little husk, huh? Let go of me! Oh. Pathetic guitarist, where's the rest of your band? No, uh, 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 uh. Well, ain't that something? Was it you, Heads? Huh? Was it you that killed Lou? You still don't know, do you? <laughs> Fuck! Oh, shit. Hey, what? Good. Something he said. You don't know a goddamn thing about Lou. All right, Sam. Let's see what we can find on Lou. If you want answers, you're gonna have to find them yourself. But the ones you do find, well, that. Pain, you nurse, will only get worse. Sam the man in the dark about everything. Don't forget, coming on this expedition was meant to help you find the strength to carry on. Is and you have. Is there a release date? I know you've got this. Now it's time to finish the journey, Sam. Please understand, Sam. We never meant to string you along. That chrysalis, we found her inside. It was filled with a fluid that contained amino acids. One's identical in structure to the kind found in tar. I'm sorry, there are amino acids in tar? As in proteins? Of course. How else did you think that chiral creatures could emerge from it? Some have even theorized that the tar is a sort of primordial soup. I was there. I saw her home. And it was a hellhole. What the fuck? You see, after you left like bridges, I decided on her? to do a little digging. Now, according to them, BB-28 was flagged for disposal and subsequently incinerated four years ago, long before you and Lou first met. And now I feel like that didn't even feel like five minutes. Like, what the fuck? I'm sold? I'm sold, too. It's like, you know what's so crazy to me? 
is like the massive difference between like because in this state of play there were like so many other games that were effectively like the same type of style of like grotesque psychological horror style game and like to see the difference between like all of those other games and like the kojima game death stranding 2 it's like bro why did they even try <laughs> and like especially like with the dialogue because like the di it's the same as like you know like like again you know quentin tarantino dialogue it's just so raw and good and it's so believable even though they'll say things that are kind of ridiculous and like all of the dialogue in, in that trailer, it's like almost cyberpunk is the same. It's world's part. Yeah, it's like it's just a totally different world. That was so fucking good, man. I just like it, it's just it's so crazy to see what a massive fucking difference that was. Wow. What was good about it? It was good. So the reason why I really liked it is that it there's obviously like you can kind of tell like kind of what the story is a little bit and like the grotesque natures of it. I kind of like it because a lot of the things that are grotesque in the story are just not even really they're, they're like nonchalant about it. Right. With like the guy putting his hand in it and like other stuff. It's like that's what I think makes it interesting is that it's like you have like all this weird stuff, but some of it's like completely like normal. And it's also like a big part of it is that it doesn't feel as derivative as a lot of other games do. And I think that's kind of like what the, the, the vibe that I get from that game is it doesn't feel derivative in the same way that a lot of these other games feel like really derivative. It's like, yeah, there's no gameplay. Yeah, I, but like this isn't a game. Like again, you don't play Death Stranding like for the gameplay probably like i don't know maybe you do but like this is a story game it's an experience that you go through it's like playing um like i don't know final fantasy msq right or final fantasy 16 yeah it's got great gameplay but like it's also about the story too and so like it's experience yeah exactly and so like it, it's like i i don't like i have no problem with the story-based game but it has to be a really, really compelling story that's interesting with weird characters, etc. It's just a vibe. Yeah, you said you don't like story games? No, I said I don't like almost all story games, but I do make exceptions. That's what I said. Yeah, I, I will always make exceptions if there's, um, you know, if there's enough quality, right? Oh, here with me today is visionary game creator and founder of Kojima Productions, oh Kojima-san. Okay. There Welcome. he is. Today, I'm excited to announce that together, as part of the PlayStation and Kojima Productions partnership, Hideo is going to take us on an exciting new adventure. One that I've been uh -huh. encouraging him to reinvent for years. The brand new original IP. Oh. After Death Stranding 2, holy shit. ワオ。ソニーさんとはえ、ほぼ this is one of my favorite genres, one that I've been hoping you would revisit with a bold new vision. Can you share anything else about this new development? え、so he's just announcing the game's coming out and saying anything about it. We're all really right. excited about this project and we will fully yeah, support Yeah, he's like, yeah, there's going to be the another game after this Sony game. Offer. All right. More details to come. Stay tuned. Okay.
Damn. Is it in 10 years? No, I I feel like, um, when did Death Stranding 1 come out? I feel like it didn't come out that long ago. Before we go, I have yeah. one final announcement. State of Play will return February 6th with an extensive look at Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Oh, shit. Square Enix will be sharing new gameplay details, along with exciting news you won't want to miss. We hope you enjoyed the show. See you soon. I'm going to be real. I was like, my... My hype for this was like a five, if, if that. And like, I feel like just with this trailer, it went up a lot. Like this, this trailer made it worth it. State of Kojima. Yeah, exactly. Because like so many of these other games, like I'm going to be honest, like I really just didn't think they were that great. I didn't. I, I just, I mean, there's Dragon's Dogma 2. That was great, right? That was the other good game. But, like, besides that, it went from a 3 to a 5? I, I don't know. Basically an 8? Yeah, I, I feel like this was, like, a 7 or an 8, man. Like, if I had to rate it 1 to 10. Oh, man. Not mentioned the graphics are insane. Yeah, like, the, the, the fighting. Like, look at the fight sequence with this. Dude, this was so good. Let me see if I can... Can I show this here? Like, this part here. Where's the part where it's like actually like fighting him? Like, I was watching this. This is so fucking good, man. Like, watch. Like, this is... That's really good, man. It's really good, yeah. What the fuck, man? All right, Sam. Anyway, yeah, music carries. It does, and that's the thing. Not actual gameplay, yeah. But like, I'm okay with that because the game looks good. Like, I'm. So here's the problem that I have. Okay, so like, if a game doesn't have gameplay that I think is like really state of the art, then the story has to be like fucking crazy, crazy, crazy interesting or good, right? So, I, it's not like I don't like story games. It's just that most story games aren't good enough for me to justify playing them over an actual game. There are exceptions, though. You saw a little bit of gameplay? I did. I did see a little bit of gameplay. I'll rent the DVD. Yeah, sure. Death Stranding story uh, was forgettable, in my opinion. Yeah, maybe it is. And uh, his good graphics are the stupidest shit I've ever seen. You, you don't like it? Yeah, I, I think it's really cool. I, I like it. And um, so, yeah, I, I'm, I'm very positive about this. This is awesome. Like, another 2D app. <laughs> oh, man. Imagine release, choosing to release Rise of the Roman on the same day as Dragon's Dogma 2. Yeah, why did they do that? That's so silly. Kojima creating a new espionage game IP is such a slap in Konami's face. Uh, Konami would have been better off not showing Silent Hill 2. It definitely needs more time. Yeah, it's like... I, I don't know. I just feel like there's such a big difference. Like, they didn't choose to release it that day? Well, I'm not sure. Like, that's just... It's disappointing that they come out on the same day. If it had come out a week earlier, or like maybe two weeks or three weeks later, I, I'd probably play it on release. That's it. We well, have excuses to buy stuff for PS5, and that's the cool thing. That they're building a cool library slowly? I guess so. Yeah, I guess so. I'm I'm really glad I watched this though. This was a lot better than I had expected. Like whenever I heard that there was a nine minute or an eight minute trailer for this game, I'm like, okay. Okay, yeah, we'll see how this is. But like, man, this was really good, man. This was awesome. Watch the DS1 apocalypse. I don't know what that is. Yeah, oh Death Stranding. Oh yeah. Bro, this shit was triggering me so hard. Like, I kept hearing people talk about how good DS2 was. 
And I kept thinking in my mind, no, it's fucking not. Dark Souls 3 is way better. Dark Souls 1 is way better. Dark Souls 2 sucked, right? And I'm like, I'm thinking in my mind, I'm like, bro, like, I, it, like I, I see the words DS2 and they're like, and, and good in the same sentence. And I'm like, fucking, uh, I'm like triggered. You know, oh my god, I'm seeing it. DS2 is so good. Like, no, it's not. No, the graphics aren't good. Like, no, DS2 is bad. But they're talking about a completely different game. Brain Ride is real? Yeah, something like that. Oh my fucking god. Is this Helldivers? Am I crazy whenever I say that I probably would try this game out, but this game has the level of exciting gameplay? Like, I view the gameplay in this game as the same as, like, Suicide Squad. Like, I kind of- I see this as just, like, the same game, but with, like, different characters. Oh, that's cool. Gotcha, bitch. I watched that boss fight. That was kind of all right. Got a job for you, 621. Fuck yeah. February 8th. What do you guys think? Should I try that one out? Maybe if I'm not busy that day, I will. Oh, I can't. That's the day of Season of Discovery. I won't. Maybe I'll play it another time. That's yeah, Season of Discovery. Hi, everyone. I'm Herman Hulst, head of PlayStation Studios, and I'm honored to present the first state of play of 2024. The first three years of... This guy's got a name like he's a villain in a Quentin Tarantino film. Five have given us incredible stories, immersive worlds, and groundbreaking gameplay kind of from PlayStation like Studios and their partners. We've also expanded PlayStation Plus with new features, mm -hmm. including PS5 game streaming. And with PSVR 2, enjoy the show. True. Is this, um... Uh, it's a hot character, zoom in on her ass. I bet this is gonna be First Descendant. It looks, looks like, you know, Korean or something. Stellar Blade. Oh, it's another one? Okay. No, I, yeah, yeah, you're right, this isn't it. Shift up. Oh, those are the people about that, yeah, that thing earlier. Welcome to the world of Stellar Blade. Okay. The story begins on post-apocalyptic Earth, Ooh. where a mysterious enemy called the Nativa has forced the human race to flee to an off-world colony. Okay. Players will take control of Eve, a member of the 7th Airborne Squad. Alright. Her mission is to save the planet by defeating the Elder Nativa. All we must do okay. is complete the mission. While most of the 7th Airborne Squad is lost during their descent from the colony, Eve soon meets two new companions. Adam, born on Earth, is in pursuit of an energy source Still, called Hypersound. Make sure to stay cautious. It's where the Alpha and AT by is. So this Where's the game must be 807. Let's see some more gameplay. Let's go. Lily, a member of the 5th Airborne Squad, provides engineering support. Lily Artemis II. Okay, Tracer. Then Got it. Next. Engineering support. She puts her technical knowledge to use by upgrading mm -hmm. Eve's equipment throughout the game. Okay. Here. Yeah. Done. Something does feel different. This is Zion. A city built underneath the wasteland by the last human survivors on this Earth. This looks nice. A whole city underneath the wasteland. Eve is called Angel, Angel by the survivors, and mm -hmm. is an object of both awe and fear. I'm not selling anything to you! They'll seem a bit wary at first, but will Angel. gradually loosen up as Eve shows a commitment to rebuilding the city. Okay. Hello, Angel. How are you? I see we have guests. Oh. I can't believe the Angel is here. 
The survivors will sometimes ask you for help. So this quest. Got it. Sister. Wait right here. Let's see some gameplay. Let's see some actual attacking. Their requests will often lead her to the wasteland and the great desert. Okay, this I mean like this looks nice. All this is good. Mm -hmm. This place has been overrun by Nativas. And malfunctioning machines and robots. It's okay. A supply camp. It'd be nice to see more than a, like, like a three me. second clip. You'll occasionally find supply stations set up by previous airborne squads. At each camp, Eve can purchase various consumable items. Acquire new skills. Upgrade equipment and more. Wow. She can also take a well-deserved break to restore her health. Angel. Eve will often encounter people in need and other non-human beings who may need her help. Request your assistance. Whether to assist or ignore them is entirely up to the player. On her journey to defeat the Elder Natiba, Eve will sometimes encounter hostile survivors. Or... Okay, okay, alright, finally. Alright, alright. Now we're- now we're looking at the game. Let's see the fucking game. Something worse. Eve, what are you going to do after you defeat the Alpha Natiba? All airborne squad members exist for one sole purpose. You mean the extinction of okay, all natives, okay. right? To think that the point of your existence is to snuff out another species. Guys, I'm gonna be real. I really don't think this looks that good. I don't. Like I, I like everybody is like, oh wow, hot girl, right? Hey, you know that's great. And also, like, this is, like, I'm not a big story-based gameplay guy. Like, I will, listen, I'll probably make an exception for Death Stranding too. But, like, a lot of these games, uh... There's, like, a... I'd have to, like, really try to think about, like, what about, like, a lot of the story games it is. But they, they just seem very so uncompelling. Not for you? Yeah, yeah, that's really what it is for me, right? It's a not-for-me game. Not an easy now, maybe I might try it out. I'm not, like, against it, but, like, I will go into it assuming that it's probably not going to be super great. Members of the Eve Airborne Squad. Well, that's quick. I can feel the hatred, but I cannot feel the source. I will find it, and I will make it pay. Open it! It's windy! The Lyle. The drone is different. This is no longer the drone you knew. So I feel like this would be better if it was just an anime. Like, just take the gameplay portions out and just, like, make it an anime. I just like, I just feel like, what is this gameplay actually? Press X. I just, I do, I feel like this game is pressing X, like, or press triangle, like, I'm sorry. If it comes out and I don't have anything else I would do, I would play this game. I would try it, you know? It like, it meets the minimum level for me to like, okay, yeah, maybe I try something like this out. 
Sure. Cat, bro, I played that Grand Blue shit last night for like five hours. Suck a dick. Fuck you. April 26th? Okay. I'm playing plenty of games. Hello. 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 Sonic the Hedgehog. I've heard of him. He's one of the top results uh, for Pornhub video game searches uh, this year. Yeah. Oh yeah, that, that map was in uh, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. I remember that very clearly. This is cool. Great. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, it's Shadow. Oh, my God. Oh, my fucking God. That is... That's fucking cool. Dude, this actually looks... What the fuck? Dude, that looks awesome. Yeah, like that's... Dude, that's fucking cool. Ooh, ooh. This is a Zenless Zone Zero. I will play this on release. It's not even a question. Everything but Genshin? Yeah. That character is pretty good. I played her. This game had a couple of, like, kind of stupid... Like, I played the beginning of it. And, like, the story for this game was, like... It was... It's not as good as Honkai Star Rail. But I like the combat more than Honkai Star Rail. So, yeah, it, it's like... I'll try it out. I'll play it. I'll wail on the first two or three characters, and then I'll come back if they sponsor me. That's probably what'll happen. The story was pretty boring. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was like not great, but like, I'll, I'll play it. I'll definitely play it for sure. Is it MiHoYo again? Yeah, yeah. Zen of Sun Zero is their new game. Honkai has combat. Yeah, I, I know that because sometimes, like every time there's like a character demo, I have to actually play it. Foamsters party. This looks like a game that comes with the console. Like, you know, like, whenever you buy the console, like, there's a game that comes with it? It's like, uh, you know... Yeah, Splatoon? Yeah. It's like your parents don't love you enough to buy you Splatoon, and so you get... You get... You get this, right? It's like... It's like Splatoon is Lego and this is Mega Bloks. I, I don't know, man. I'm just not. I'm not seeing it. Sorry. PS2, PlayStation Plus monthly games, right? Dave the Diver, right? It's Greg the Gamer? No, it's not. Oh, wow. Oh. Wait, oh, that's the target audience. I get it now. Yeah. It's actually crazy how hard S-Fan went to try to get me to play this game. 
Like, he had such good things to say about this. I remember there was, like, a classic WoW update, and S-Fan turned it off to play Dave the Diver. I know, I know, he says a lot of good stuff about it. Like, I, I do kind of want to try it one day. I don't know if I'll ever find time to do it on stream, but I... Oh. Is this Godzilla? Wait, what? Dave the Diver collab with Godzilla, of course. I could see that. You can literally hear the Godzilla theme. I haven't heard of Godzilla. Th oh, is this V Rising? Yeah, it is. I would. This is so I would I would play this game more if it didn't have uh, the weird camera angle. I don't like the camera angle in this game, and I think it actively makes the game worse. I understand that the game is designed around it, but I just don't like it. There's a mod? Yeah, maybe. Ooh. I, I do want to say, by the way, I have played this game a pretty good amount. It is an incredibly well-designed game. It's much better than people think. And it was like kind of, you know how like Enshrouded kind of got overshadowed because of Power World? This game kind of got a little bit overshadowed because Valheim was still, like, really popular at the time, and people didn't really play this as much. This is a really great game. It's called V Rising. I would totally recommend playing it. It's like one of the endgame bosses. Is it video 4K? No, no, this is, this is fine. This is what my resolution's at. The very good game? Yeah. Yeah, I've actually never done a full playthrough of this game. I've only done, like, maybe the first, like, 30% of it. Hi, everyone. I'm Sean Benson. This next game is a result of a very close partnership with Konami and marks the return of a horror franchise that has been with us since the original PlayStation. What's this? Let's take a look at what's next for Silent Hill. I've never played a Silent Hill game. Will this be the first one? Let's find out. Maybe I can be like her. Oh, this is scary. She's looking at Twitter. She's not getting any likes on her tweets, either. You guys see that? No wonder she's about to jump off a building. Is this... a dream? Who's there? What's with this place? Oh, those are commenters. Cherry blossoms bloom... ...within the grasp of death. Oh, that's... What are you hiding inside? Maya? What the fuck? I'm sorry. Stop! Please! Just shoot him. What should I do to deserve this? Ooh. Wait, full game free to play? Wait, what the fuck? That's nuts. What? Konnichiwa. Silent Hill series of producer of Tsumeru Okamoto Motoi desu. ご覧いただいたのはサイレントヒルザショートメッセージというまったく新しいサイレントヒルとなります。本作は本日この後プレイステーション 
それでは最後にこちらの映像をご覧ください It sucks balls, does it? I don't know. Oh, is that XQC? I, do, I don't think that looks good at all. Like, I'm gonna be, I, I think it looks terrible. I'm sorry. It's not for me, maybe. Maybe it's just not for me. Okay. Crater of Bioshock. Ooh, I have that. What's Halo? Wait, no, it's not. Okay, Alex Jones. So you don't have a chance for a blue pill in this game. It just happens. <laughs> what? have a lot of lot to say about that stare into the flame think of this fire as a beacon please be good it's warmth it's energy now Focus your mind on your wife and step into Oh, it's a never mind to the argument. Yeah. Um so like there's a, it's a VR game. VR games will be considered good whenever 
they're not obvious that it's a VR game and the only gimmick that makes it like if you took this game and you put it on PlayStation 5, people would say this is garbage. So the problem is that every VR game is only good in the context that it fits into this gimmick. Sorry. Everyone likes the Metro series. I didn't, to be fair. But, um... I'm not sure. I tend to be short, too. Yeah. Alex was an exception. Yeah, I, no, I'm sure there's, like, maybe a couple of exceptions, but I think in a general sense, that's why. At least that's why I don't really, like, I don't really care a whole lot about them. Okay, what's this? This is coming to an Xbox 360 next year. PlayStation 3, Xbox 360. It's gonna be great. Oh yeah. Whenever I played Oblivion when I was a kid, this was the graphics that I imagined it had. I know Oblivion was worse, but this is like in my mind, this is where I thought it was. Captain America shield. Doesn't look as cool as it did in Infinity War. Tell you that. We got Molnir too. Yeah, I just don't give a fuck about the VR games. Okay, what's this? Oh wow. Okay, this could be cool. Okay. Oh shit! No, this is gonna be Dragon's Dogma too. Oh fuck. I make no mistake. Thank fucking God. A dragon will appear before you. Yes. When the time is come. All right. This is new footage too. That was cool. It was like a minotaur or something like that. Oh, shit. That is cool. Yeah, they showed these enemies before. 20 FPS? Yeah, FPS seems kind of low. True. Make manifest your will. That's the last of this world. Right. You missed the good part. Wait, what? Yeah, I missed the good part. Those who can be Hold up. I didn't. I see. I saw Hold that. Fast to your strength of will. That's fucking one. badass. Those who can be of aid to you will reveal themselves in time. Thy will, thy soul. These are all the means thou hast to carve thy path anew. That's cool. That's a good trailer. Yeah. It's a new vocation. Oh, that? Yeah, no, I didn't even know that was it. Yeah, as I said, I think this is the game that right now I'm the most excited for. Uh, I'm, I'm very, very excited for this game. Uh, I'm, yeah, super excited. Like, I'm just, I'm I, like, now I feel like it was worth it. Because, like, I'm going to be real, guys. Like, a lot of the trailers that I've seen so far, like, I thought the game sucked. <laughs> It is what it is, right? But this, this was cool. It's worth it. Hey, 皆さんこんにちは。チーム忍者の安田です。えー、ライズオブザローニンは自由な探索や幅広い戦闘を体験できるオープンワールドアクション RPG です。歴史上の人物たちを紡ぐ因縁によって、this game looks pretty decent. I'll be playing this one. 忍者として皆様それぞれの幕末を体験してください。オープンワールドで描かれる幕末の世界をお楽しみください。
Okay, here we go. Also made Wu Wong. Yep, hopefully they uh, learn from their mistakes. That game sucked. That's Tanjiro. Okay. Oh. Oh, wow. This looks really nice. Look, it's got the little, uh, like, you know, just like regular, like, Dark Souls type menu. This is... This is real nice. I, I, I will say, like, I like the style of it. But if, if you've told me this game came out in 2014, I'd believe you. Like, I'm sorry. Like, that's just how it is. Like, this would now stop me from playing the game, but the graphics... I don't care about graphics, me either, but I'm just, just observing. Yeah, to be fair, like, this looks really cool, man. Like, I really like the way this looks. Like, seems to be almost like open world. Why didn't he stab him? I bet the red thing is posture, right? Oh, there it is. Oh, oh, oh. Damn. That's pretty good. I've seen that before. Yeah, like this doesn't look to me like it's like super insane or crazy good, but I'll play this. This is this, like this is actually this is even above like I'll play this. Like I will look forward to playing this. Even though I feel like it's Sekiro at home, that's fine. I like Sekiro. I'll play this one too. Yeah. Great. Great. Damn. It's like a budgeted Tsushima. Damn. Oh, that's so I feel like this game follows like kind of the same paradigm as like a lot of these games where like you're fighting them, the posture bar goes down, then once it goes down enough, this circle goes red, you stab them, it does a pretty good amount of health, and you repeat the process till they're dead. Um, okay, sure. Movement seems a little off. Yeah, I think that, uh, like this is a problem that Wu Long had, is that I think that the animations were like, uh, like, the animations were intentionally jerky in order to make the game harder. Like, they, they were not fluid. And uh, I don't know if this game will have that same problem. It doesn't seem as bad as Wulong. Oh. It's Mr. Cat. That's a good looking cat, too. I guess this is good, too. Okay. Okay. That's cool. This is cool. Sorry. Oh, 
All right. Yeah. Decent enough. Sure. Literally the same day as Dragon's Dogma 2. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Yeah, I, I don't know if I'll play this or not in that case, but um, yeah, I might try something like this out. What did you do? What's this? There are a few things I need to make sure you understand. I'm going to give you ten seconds. No, please, no! The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. It was just a prank, yeah. Oh. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. The choice is yours. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Sam. Oh, it's a remake. Why does the fucking scary NPC? Why does it just look like me with a with like makeup on? Like what the fuck? <laughs> 